Today, let's break down the changes that happened in last week's updates. As some of you may know, I didn't have internet last week, so it made covering these updates impossible. But now, it's back and I can talk about it. So first of all, yes, we now have Ricochet Anti-Cheat for everyone. And some of you may be asking, does it affect performance? And the answer is, not really. I'm still getting the same FPS as before, minus one or two. But this is normal and this comes with any update, so for all I know, the next update could give me back those one or two FPS. And as for cheaters, I haven't run into a single one ever since. Although, there was a map exploit that I ran into. A lot of the Vanguard weapons have changed a lot. Things are moving quickly with Vanguard balancing. And I won't be covering any of the stats except for bullet penetration until everything is balanced out. But I'll talk more about that on Friday's video. Now for the weapons that I've covered in the past and have changed. In the last update to the M2, I said that it barely changed, and it was so negligible that I even went down to the Ranger Barrel to get even better mobility stats. But now, it seems that they really fixed the recoil. The change is insane, and honestly, it's kinda hard to control it at 115 meters. But it is possible, since now the recoil is pretty much straight vertical. Before there was some horizontal movement, but now it's just pulling straight down. However, I know this may be a bit difficult for a lot of people, especially with the timing between the shots, so I now think that it's okay if you need to run the Agency Suppressor with the Task Force Barrel, or at least the Agency Suppressor with the Ranger Barrel still. You won't be getting as good mobility stats, but you gotta make sure that you're actually hitting your shots. This doesn't change its recoil score though, because you can still control it at 115 meters. Now for the Car 98K. They kind of reverted a bit of the nerf to his flinch resistance. It has gotten 19% more, and that's a good thing. You can now actually snipe back at medium and close ranges. Still at longer ranges, it's going to be really hard, but at least you stand a chance now. And this is a bit closer to the balancing where it actually should be, and other sniper rifles should be as well. Now for the MJ82. I've always said that it has literal straight vertical recoil, and you can control it 200 meters away if you mount, easily. They said that they increased its recoil deviation, but I don't really see it. Does it have more vertical magnitude? Certainly seems like it, but other than that, I can't see a difference. It's still extremely easy to use, and up to 150 meters, you will have no problem absolutely beaming someone. And lastly, the Swiss K31. Pretty much, it got the same change that the Car 98 got. It's now a bit better at sniping back at close and medium ranges. And I am still recommending the Swiss K31 over the Car 98K. So those are the important changes that happened last week. Are you happy about them, or are you a bit disappointed with the EM2 nerf like I am? As always, if there's any weapon build or part of the game you want me to break down, let me know you may see it on the next Community Wednesday. But that's the video. If you enjoyed it or was helped in any way, let me know by leaving a like. If you got any questions or comments, Leave them down in the comment section down below, and if you want to make sure that you never send our video, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.